Uh, my friends have been telling me I look like a sheep wearing this jacket, but it is super comfortable. Um, it's for minimal, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos. But today we're talking about last minute college tips. I know that deadlines are coming up. My little brother is applying right now. So last night I was just helping him and I realized like, oh crap, there's a lot of things that still can be done to you know, best prepare yourself to you know, kill that application and just kind of put yourself in the best position. Now before this video begins, I do want to say that there is a sale on my ebook, Crash Course College Coaching. If you've been watching the channel for a while, now you know that over the summer I took several months to write up an entire ebook about everything about the college applications all the way from starting of getting letters recommendations to picking out your classes to you know writing the essays and what to do while you're waiting but I will have it linked in the description down below but it is on sale for 40% off right now it is a huge saving so if you haven't picked up a copy I highly recommend it especially in this last month as you guys are getting into that final stretch I guarantee and promise that everything in that book is so beneficial and will be so worth it because there's also a section on the college part itself all the way up until freshman year of like getting acclimated picking out your courses adjusting to the college life like all the experiences that i've had over the past few years i wanted to share with you guys and just put it in an easy to read format it's designed very well i promise that it's going to be so beneficial for you even if you guys aren't applying for colleges right now and this is the perfect time to pick it up so it will be on sale down below you know thank you guys so much for the support if you've already bought it i know i'm getting tons of comments saying everyone has loved the book and it's just so nice seeing that the work that i put into it has finally paid off but if you haven't already definitely go check it out you can also download a free sample just to see what it's going to be like within 10 pages so definitely check that out and on to the video now before you hit submit on any type of application please 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 make sure you double check everything this is a critical very important tip because that could literally be the difference of you getting into school versus not getting into school like because if you copy and paste one of your short answers saying oh i would love to study in the beautiful city of boston at harvard for your Princeton application that's immediately going in the trash like there's no doubt about it if you mess that up because you copied and pasted and forgot to change your school names like so save yourself a lot of trouble and time i recommend printing out all your copies go through with a highlighter or red pen and just mark everything up you know whether it's typos or grammatical mistakes or you know the indenting is wrong how it looks on the application like printing out the whole common application will just give you an easier way to see everything that's laid out for you. number two is confirm your teacher recommendations make sure you've reached out to the teachers well beforehand the deadline is due and go in a few days before and be like hey have you submitted the letter of recommendation chances are if they're on top of everything then they will have already submitted it for you and you can see it in the common application website but the more likely chance is that teachers are busy too they have their own schedule so it needs to be your priority to make sure you go in and talk to them and say hey it's really due in a few days can you please submit it and they'll be happy to do it they probably have it already written they just have forgotten to upload it so make sure you go in and ask about that number three is ask your friends and your peers to look it over i think a huge beneficial thing for me when i was applying was just ask my friends hey do you mind just reading over this short answer or this essay and having someone else give you critiques and feedbacks of oh hey the sentence doesn't flow really well why are you using this word choice instead of something else or the content isn't right for this specific application having someone else who hasn't been behind the computer writing that application for hours and hours and having a fresh set of eyes will just give you a new perspective and kind of give you a new idea of what is going to work and what isn't and at the end of the day like it's still your essay it's still your own application so i don't recommend you know changing everything because they told you to do so but really like take it to heart and ask yourself okay is that the right change that needs to be made or is this something that's a personal you know grammatical effect or style effect or whatever that i want to keep in for this certain reason number four is submit portfolios resumes any type of cool shit that you've done i know that for a lot of the schools they'll have a separate part of the application where you can actually upload a portfolio so for what i did i actually did multiple i think i did a music and an art portfolio so i went to my high school auditorium you know set up a camera recorded a concerto and a few etudes for my music portfolio and then for my art portfolio i had a complete compilation of images over the past few years that I've taken that just kind of really exemplified the best of my best work and I think that that was a huge thing that kind of like st uh, helped me stick out from any other applicant was that I was you know talented not only in music but also art but also had the academics to back everything up so if you have some kind of talent whether it's graphic design or website illustration or whatever the case may be for you Definitely check if the school you're applying to has some sort of space for, you know, additional information or portfolio or even if you want to upload your resume like that wouldn't be detrimental to your um, application either. Number five, this is a big thing, like figure out your financial aid ahead of time. Don't wait until the last minute to get your FAFSA filled out, have your parents taxes, you know, filed and everything because the more you wait on that, the less money you're going to be getting. And especially if you need a lot of financial aid to attend whatever school it is, the earlier you do it, the better because that school's just going to have more money that they can be able to give to you. Luckily for me, 
me, my mom was able to focus on that side of it and she handled everything about financial aid while I was able to spend all my time focusing on the actual applications and just splitting that, that task up and dividing it and conquering was super beneficial and I highly recommend it for you guys as well. Number six, please, please, please do not wait until the last minute to submit everything. You do not want to be in the case where it is 11.58, you're literally typing your last few words, hitting submit and realizing, oh crap, my internet failed or oh crap, the teacher recommendation wasn't submitted. Like there are literally dozens of variables that could go into some kind of mishap happening up on your application to your dream school and waiting until the last minute when it can't be fixed. And the school's not gonna say, sorry, your Wi-Fi went out, we can still accept your application. Like that's a you problem and not a them problem. So make sure you submit it, you know, hopefully like even a day ahead or a few hours ahead of that deadline. I promise you, like, like I'm speaking from experience because I literally submitted my Harvard application like five minutes before the deadline and that is stress that you don't need or don't want to be in your life. Now number seven, this isn't the most important part of your application but it is a pretty beneficial aspect if you do it well and then that's your interview. So if a school reaches out and offers you an interview with someone in your area then I highly recommend you take that up. I've actually made a video on how to do a college interview and everything you need for that so check it out if you haven't already but make sure you you know just talk calmly have a nice conversation with and make sure they'll be able to write a strong recommendation on your behalf for that university and say oh I had a great conversation with Nicholas um, he'd be a great candidate for your school number eight if you have the opportunity like I've always mentioned is I really recommend visiting the campus before you actually submit your application or get accepted or accept your offer because seeing a school in person is going to be 100 times better than seeing any type of YouTube videos or campus tours online like being on that campus and asking yourself am I going to be able to be a student here am I going to be able to grow intellectually and morally as a person like that's something that you can't be doing anywhere else except on the actual campus so if it's close by a road trip is highly recommended especially over winter break you know plane tickets during the off season when it's not peak time you know during a few school days it's not that expensive and I'm pretty sure most schools will allow two or three days for you to visit colleges so definitely take that up and you'll just be able to get a much better perspective of whether or not that school is going to be the right fit for you if you actually go and visit. Okay, that was a quick run through of some last minute college tips. I know that a lot of you guys can be stressing right about now, especially with only a month left and then you're just home free. You know, my brother's not having his best time right now but he's getting through it as well so I understand because I'm helping him out with that but I hope these tips were helpful for you guys and that you guys were able to take something away from it if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below I do appreciate all the support um, like for more videos and I will see you guys next time